talk about my switch. So my switch is a version two switch um, with the red and blue Joy-Con. It has a case on it. It's this Colin Cole crystal case. It has the smallest grip right there. And then I have here my carry case. So this is actually a Tom Talk Slim carry case. Um, I love this case. It's very slim and I love the design. It's the moon. So yep, I actually looked for it the moon design because it's pretty hard to find so yeah that's my carry case and next is so i have two joy cons uh, i mean not joy cons i have two controllers i have a pro controller the super smash bros edition controllers and then i have an 8-bit controller the n30 pro it's pretty cool because it lights up see as you can see that is pretty cool and it's very thin as well Next is, uh, what do you call this? This is a cartridge carry case for my games. It can carry up to, let's see, six, 24 games. And as of now, I have two blank spaces right there. So I have 22 games in total. That's a lot. And then what else do I have? So I also have this. Uh, stand uh, just for times that I don't want to use my TV so I just put my switch in there and then use a controller for tabletop mode and then I also use this um, a very cheap find video capture HDMI video capture uh, for recording uh, gameplays and stuff like that and also I can play um the switch with the, these on my laptop so that's pretty cool so next is actually a carry case there's actually a specific carry case for my pokeball plus so it doesn't get scratches on it when i put it in my bag when i travel so that's, that's pretty cool right and then what else uh so let's proceed to the games that i have so first I have the Pokemon games. So let me just say I have two. The Pokemon Sword and the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Next is, uh, what else? So these are the two Pokemon games I have. Next is, actually, I have Animal Crossing. This is actually the first game I ever purchased after I got my Nintendo Switch. So originally I got a version 1 and then I sold it and got a version 2. So this is the first game I ever played on the Switch. It was very addicting and yeah, I spent 500 plus hours playing it. I'm a bit shameful about that. Okay, next is Octopod Traveler. It's actually pretty cool. The graphics, the art is pretty cool. You can play up to eight characters on it and it's a pretty long game, but it's really fun. Um, it's one of the best games on the Switch also. It's what I've heard. And next is, I love this game. This is the Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. So this game, it's actually a Ghibli inspired game, yeah? so it's artwork is pretty nostalgic as you, as you might say. So yeah, I haven't finished it yet actually because I got stuck on like a level or something and I can't get past it. <laughs> so yeah. So this next is Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition. So actually I spent 70 hours playing this game and I haven't finished it yet because you know, med school is demanding, but pretty cool game. Um, you can play as the hackers or you can play as the detective. So the part I that I actually got to play is the detective part. So I'm looking forward to, to play as the hackers. That's pretty cool, right? And the next is Tales of Vesperia. Um, I haven't actually got to play it, but yeah, it's a pretty cool game. 
I guess. Uh, I love our old um, JRPGs, so I grabbed this. And next is the Monster Hunter series. I got both. I got Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, I spent around 100 plus hours with my friends. And next is Monster Hunter Stories 2. So Monster Hunter Stories 2 is pretty cool. Uh, uh, different mechanics uh, compared to Monster Hunter Rise. And it's pretty close to Pokemon, kind of. So yeah, that's, that's uh, refreshing. So yeah, next is Spark Light. It's a pretty cool game and I grabbed it very cheap. So, must try. Next is uh, Dead Cells. So this game is actually like uh, a game that you go to, you go back after playing like another game. So you, and there's a lot of DLCs for this and the DLCs are very cheap. Uh, they're around $4.99 uh, US dollars. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And this actual, this physical copy has an art book. Pretty cool, right? It's not every day that we get art books from games. Next is this Gaia one. This Gaia one is actually pretty cool. This game has a reversible uh, cover. Uh, I picked this one because, you know, it's just, I like this art better. Next is Snack World. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I grabbed this. This is a pretty cool game. You can customize your character. I like I like customizing characters and playing as yourself. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And next is Stardew Valley. I mean, who who says no to Stardew Valley? Uh, this game is a classic. You play a farm, um, basically farm simulating game, um, and it has an art book too which is pretty rare, right? And next is Nexomon Extinction, Extinction, I'm sorry. So Nexomon Extinction is that um, I actually spent a lot, I actually enjoyed it and played it like through. I finished it in one sitting and it's pretty cool. I like it. It's, um, it's, it's actually uh, similar to uh, old school Pokemon and I liked it, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, uh, I wish the creators make like a DLC or something or like an update. So I'll, pr I'll pretty much play it again. Next is uh, what else? So I have this game. I am Setsuna. Uh, I haven't touched this game yet, but I got really intrigued because it's an RPG game and the artwork's pretty cool and it's pretty mysterious, right? Cool. And then I have two Final Fantasy games. This first one and the Maxima one. So I grabbed this because the artwork's pretty cool. I like this type of um, art on games. And they say this is a must try. This is a classic. And I haven't really played Final Fantasy before because um, the Nintendo Switch is my first console, so yeah, I grabbed this one too. And uh, next is Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. So this one's pretty cool. I enjoyed this one. It's pretty different because um, it's a 2D platformer and then you also do farming and stuff like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. I think it has an artwork in here. Yep. So. Right, it had an artwork, it's pretty rare. And next is Borderlands Legendary Collection. So it has Borderlands, the, the original Borderlands, the second one, and the prequel. So, to be honest, I actually just played the first one and I haven't even finished it yet. It's a pretty long game, and imagine playing this one and this one. So it was a, I got it on a sale, so. Was pretty worth it. 
Next, the these two are my latest pickups. So this one, the crystals, crystals. Actually, this physical copy has a poster with it. See? And I actually did put it up because I don't know where to put it. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, not every game gives out posters, so love this game. I mean, I think everyone knows about this game. It's pretty cool and uh, beautiful art style. I mean, look at that. And then another game. <laughs> this is my latest pickup, and I I actually waited for it. I ordered it. Waited for it. This is Kataria Fables. This is actually close to a uh, story of seasons but with cats and stuff in it and also rpg adventure so uh, i haven't played it yet because i just got it like yesterday so yeah, i'm pretty excited about this one so yeah that's it that's all i have for now uh, i'll give you an update maybe soon Bye.